What is going on, you beautiful people? It is Trelly here, and today we're going to be making a GM rank dual tier list. Now, a lot of you may know me for my Joust content or some conquests, or maybe you know me for the duel, but if you don't, uh, currently I am MMR capped, meaning that I am the highest you rank you can get, the highest MMR you can get uh, in Smite. Technically, there are 40 other people that are MMR capped, so it's kind of like I'm in a 40-way tie for being the best in the world. It's a terrible system, and I'm not actually that good, but I play enough duel. I do god requests on my stream, so I feel like I've got a decent grasp on the meta. That's why I, I lose a fair bit, because I don't just stick to the high meta stuff. This is going to be my first dual tier list, and we're going to be doing it live on stream. So that's the plan. I hope you guys enjoy. Without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so we already did the intro, so we're just going to jump right into it. You too, if you're watching this, uh, we are doing a GM ranked dual tier list live on stream, and chat's probably going to piss me off. The only reason I'm doing it on stream is because I truthfully don't think I could sit here and talk about dual gods for over an hour um, w without their help and without their entertainment. So let's just jump on into it. S tier, of course, is going to be you can pick these gods into most matchups. If they're not banned, you should be playing them. A plus, I added A plus because people have this negative connotation towards A that it's not like good enough. So I added A plus. A plus is same, but there's some counter matchups. A of course is fine. You should be okay playing them, but they're not gonna beat these gods. B is, man, that God's pretty rough, but if you snowball, it can work. And C is you gotta be just nuts to make them work. That's what we're going with. And without further ado, let's jump in. Um, Achilles, I'm gonna put right to A, I think. He's decent. His clear is fine. His ult can get some value. Um, if you build him auto attack, he's pretty lit. But besides that, um, he's not my favorite dual god that I've ever seen. Uh, moving on, Agni. I think he's probably about the same, maybe a bit higher. But I'm gonna I'm gonna leave him A tier as well. Agni, you know, ability based mages. For them to be like top, top tier, they have to have 100 to zero potential, like Anubis, or they have to have insane cooldowns, like Hebo. Agni doesn't have either, um, but in certain matchups, he can keep you away. Like he excels into melee characters where he can just use his stun to keep them far away. Um, AMC, quintessential S tier, in my opinion, crazy clear, crazy 1v1. He's not the top of the freaking threshold anymore, but he's gonna run away from you. He's gonna build movement speed. He's gonna do more damage than you. He can tower sit forever um and he only loses to certain matchups that can actually match his pressure the hives are just super cringe to deal with in my opinion um alpwash i am going to put him in b the only gods that go under alpwash um are gods with bad clear clear is so important in duel you don't have a, a carry next to you to try and help clear you have to do it all yourself um you have to have certain matchups. I would argue you have to get value out of your stun for Alpwash to get value over any of these other characters. You'll notice the ones above him have either all-in potential, which he doesn't really have, or, you know, they, they can clear the way they have auto attacks. A lot of things that Alpwash just lacks, unfortunately. Um, yeah, this makes sense. He doesn't have confirmable CC either, which Agni does have, so that's the reason he's here. Um, Ama, I am going to put her to S tier as well. Uh, just because even if you don't fight with Ama, you don't have to. Her auto attacks are insane. Her structure damage is insane. She really can just avoid you. Her movement speed with regrowth means she doesn't have to fight you ever. She can just focus out structures, meaning go to Bull Demon, run away. Go to your tower, run away. All of that sort of thing. Um, Ama's really, really strong still. Like Golden Blade, whatever you want. Into some matchups, she needs help. But honestly, her all-in's nuts. I think she's... I mean, we'll, we'll get to Bologna, but I honestly think she's just better Bologna at this point because of the fall off of these, these some of these melees. Um, on her, gotta be S as well, I imagine. Maybe A+, plus, but still super strong. Yeah, he's gotta be S. I mean, these are the gods that you can always pick and you're never gonna get rolled on her. Obviously, isn't the best god in duel, but he's got great clear. He's got kill potential level five. He's a hunter, late game. He's still nuts. His ult falls off, but it doesn't matter. I think the pillar means it's hard to run away. He's got engage, disengage. Um, I'm a big fan of on her, and I think he's, he's pretty hard to mess up. Uh, Anubis is going to go up to S tier as well. I think that making him walk with his one just became so much more insane. You may disagree with me on this. Like, anti-heal does screw him over, but it turns out, get this. He doesn't even need... He truthfully doesn't even need 
the anti-heal, like the healing. If you just play back until you have kill potential, get Sunder, and all in only, like you have to hit every wrap. But if you get Chronos Pendant and hit one wrap for Relics back up, hit the next one and get a kill, he's pretty nuts. Uh, it is really difficult to, to out-pressure Anubis, in my opinion. Um, Alquang, <laughs> another one that goes up to S tier. Actually, maybe A+. Plus. This is tough for me. Um, Alquang used to be really bad. And you should know this because I was an Alquang main for the longest time. Um, I loved Alquang, but his ult sucked. He had no clear. And he was only really good late game. Now, he can play a little bit differently. I think regrowth works very well from him. Taking away starter items buffed him immensely because he doesn't have to contest with like Mannequin Scepter Hunters. And... He's still super annoying to deal with. A lot of these gods, I think, could move down to A+. Like, like this still looks right to me. It, it, it is all just... It's all just trying to work in my brain. So we may change things as it goes. But in my opinion, this is kind of how we're sitting. Um, Alquang is still extremely strong. Afro, I'm going to be honest with you. I have never seen an Afro in my dual games. I've played about 100. Not seen an Afro once. Um, a big portion of her kit is is buffed from having someone linked to you. I do not imagine she's very good. That's just my, my personal opinion here. I have zero data to back this up. Maybe if there's some Afro mains in the, in the comments, you can let me know. But I just, I don't know why you'd be picking Afro. In my personal opinion. Um, Apollo, he's a hunter. He's always going to be decent. Like, honestly, you can go crit. You can go the new Griffin Wing Star. That's not even that new anymore. Um, I think as long as you're able to build auto attacks, you're in a great spot. The issue, the issue with Apollo is it's hard to get use of his ultimate in the middle of a fight. Whereas on her, you can just ult, you know, like Hoji, you can just ult. Apollo, you have to back and then ult in or hide behind a corner and ult. That's the only reason he's not like jumping up. I, I value a lot of hunters with good clear and CC in these two slots <laughs> but apollo is gonna sit here for the time being um arachne i want to put her here to be honest with you um but golden blade is a thing her early game is just so tragic like her her all-in is decent but if you just like have a cc ability that keeps her away and never let her get late game and snowball on her her clear is useless like you're forced into golden blade and even then it's so difficult um, I would rather play Pwash than Arachne, but probably not quite there. Okay, moving on. Ares, just awful. Um, his wave clear is really bad. His ult gets zero value. With Bumba's hammer, there was a way to make him work, but at the moment, not good. Most guardians are going to be down here, unfortunately. I love me some Ares, but just not the truth. Um, Artemis is... In my opinion, one of the worst gods in the game does not mean that she's the worst god in duel because she's still a hunter and has good all in, but her clear is so bad. Like her three does not clear waves. And because of that, it's hard to argue <laughs> that she is here. I mean, there's definitely some hunters that I could see that would probably be higher than her, but none lower. So yeah, I'm gonna put her B. She's not quite C because she's still an ADC. But again, her clear early game, it's super easy to run over her. If she gets late game, yeah, she's sick. You only fight when you have your ult up and you CC chain, but her clear is just really bad. Um, RDO, a little bit better than Ares. She's got better wave clear. Um, the the Book of Thoth. What's the other one? The, the, ta the, the Talisman, you know, the one with the true damage. I can't even remember what it's called because it hasn't been built in such a long time in the Pro League. But that was pretty sick for her. Um, still not great, of course. She doesn't have any way to kill Fire Giant. Um, that's a bit of an issue if you don't have auto attacks or good cooldowns, which she has neither of. Tablet of Destinies. Thank you, DC. Yeah, that kind of worked for her. But against a Hunter that has consistent damage or someone with good cooldown that can just run away, it's very difficult to end the game with RDO. Um, Athena, I think, is a little bit better. Um, again, with without Bumbas, bit of an issue. Yeah, she can't be A tier. Uh, her, her way clears a bit better. Polly's cool. But her ult's still useless. She doesn't have that much kill potential. And without Bumba's hammer, it is really difficult to, like, make her work anymore. Uh, some characters got better with no starter items. Some got significantly worse. 
And these are some of those characters. Um, a Wheelix, I actually really enjoy. I think she's super fun. Did I put Artemis A? Huh. This is difficult for me. Because I don't think that Artemis is A. I'm going to put Artemis at B. Maybe I'm wrong about that. But I think, no. Once I saw a Wheelix in A, I had to bring her down. A Wheelix, uh, you don't really need the matchup of like having a leap. You can just blink in. You can set up your own leaps. Just pre-ulting and blinking in kind of goes crazy. I've been playing a fair bit of a Wheelix and I actually like her a lot. Uh, her one problem for me is that you have to use your abilities to clear the wave. And then once you've done that, you no longer have your abilities to fight. That's a problem with a lot of these characters. But a Wheelix makes up with that because of her all-in, in my opinion. She just like walks up, forces you to jump, gets on Suku, chases you down, and then just pops her old Sunders and goes. Like, that's kind of that's kind of the play with a Wheelix. Um, and her, like, all-in is pretty sick. So that's what I'm feeling there. Baba! Baba's rough because her early game is also bad. Like, late game in Conquest, she kind of goes crazy. But because in Duel, her getting fire is annoying, her early game's pretty bad, you have to make sure you get late game. Sometimes you just get snowballed on, unfortunately for Baba. Gonna have to leave her and be. Um, but hey, maybe she'll get better with time. Um, Bacchus, the man, the myth, the absolute goat. I actually really do enjoy Bacchus. In my opinion, the second best in this tier next to Artemis. Unfortunately, not quite an A tier god, obviously. Um, you can hit the wave and clear he's got good burst damage so he has a little bit more steel attempt towards fire the characters like Ares that like just watch you do fire and you have to walk away suck but Bacchus can flop you CC you steal it from you try and go in Polly the with regrowth is kind of fun again it's kind of difficult for Guardians to be up there um, Bacchus S tier you guys know this had the highest win rate in the game mode last time I did one of those stat videos he just wins for free early game it's pretty much a chess match. If you go to red buff and Baka goes to red buff, you probably lose that game. If you go to red, he goes to blue, you have a chance. But if he invades your blue and then takes everything else, if you get triple buff by Baka in the early game, the game's over. You have lost. And it's pretty easy to confirm that. As a Baka Sura, you just don't go for the free buff. You go, where's the enemy? I don't see them. I'm going to run to them and just take their shit. And you make sure you snowball. Um, Baron is real strong, in my opinion. Um... He's got anti-attack speed for these melee and these hunters. He's got pretty good kill potential at all moments. Um, it just becomes a little bit issue, a little bit of an issue if he gets ran at and hunters give him some trouble. I would be willing to put him in S tier if I had the the backup for it, but unfortunately I don't. But yeah, Baron is the truth. Very very strong uh, in in duel IMO. Bastet, man, I it, it's hard to put her in S because I never see her, and there's a reason I never see her. You'll notice my bands, in particular, are about characters that I think are incredibly easy. They're not about the gods that are good, it's about the gods that are easy, and I think Bastet is like training wheels, goo goo gaga, baby, easy. I hate Bastet so much. Her, she, she can jump, she can run away, she can slow you with her cat, she can CC you, run away some more, jump over the wall, force you to blink in, jump back. Uh, with two relics and her jump late game, it's like unstoppable. She has her cat to backdoor you. You never can catch up to her. The slow on her three is so annoying. Um, it's just easy mode, right? You don't have to do anything in particular. You can never, you never have to force someone to fight. And I think a lot of the top tier characters force you into fights, which Bastet is good at avoiding. So that's the reason she's S. Um, Bologna is another one of those characters that I ban all the time because I think she's baby mode easy. Um, against other auto attackers, she usually just wins, right? Like she just goes melee stance, goes into her shield and auto attacks. And it's almost impossible to out trade her there. Um, I actually don't see a reason why she wouldn't BS. I haven't seen her in a while though, because I ban her every game. I could be wrong about this. She could have fallen off because without starter items, I do think she gets a bit worse. It is pretty easy to out pressure her, but if you're able to just get online, Man, she really fucks these auto attackers. It's hard for me to put her in A+, but I kind of want to. I do think Ama's just better Bologna now. But, I don't know. Maybe if you build, like, Golden Blade, she's she's even better. Because, like, Ama, you always built Golden Blade. But Bologna, her thing was you, you could just go, like, you know, Death Toll or Mannequins because she has Cleave Autos. Now, 
Without starters, it's harder to warrant going that. Yeah, it's difficult. I think she's still pretty close. I'm going to put her right in that threshold, man. It's it, it's close. I'll, I'll leave her here, but just, you know, listen to my explanation, not just shiny picture. Um, Kabraken, I'm actually going to put him a little bit higher than Bacchus. I think Kabraken's the truth. I love Kabraken in Duel. Um, he's got great early pressure. The lifesteal build works wonders on him if you go the Bancrofts, Typhons, and Poly build. Um, he can do fire because his three is like actually pretty consistent damage. Um, one of the best guardians in duel, bar none. Very strong. Uh, Kamas goes straight to A+. Very strong. You got to make sure you're hitting your abilities, but if you are, he goes crazy. Still has issues with people that with consistent damage and anti-heal like Hunters with Toxic Blade. But if you're able to consistently hit it, like, like I think he has a great matchup into these mages. Like Anubis, Alqua, and Kamazots can roll given the right setting. Same with like Baron. Is he just like keeps poking and then flies in all in. It's super annoying to deal with. So Kama is like the, the, the top meta counter, in my opinion. He doesn't like beat them, but he can, if you play well, you can definitely put them in the dirt. Um, Serb, probably just straight to the, these other ability based guardians. I think they're all relatively similar. The anti heals a cool gimmick, but yeah, not the, not the best at the moment. CERN has climbed and climbed. Uh, I would argue CERN is better than a lot of these hunters at the moment. The only one, ones that shit on him are the ones with like cripples. And even like Bakasura has a rough time into CERN because of his cripple now. It used to just be that his two was a root. Now it's all well and good. But now it's got a cripple attached to it. And that goes crazy. You can like guarantee that you can run away. His early game is insane. The glaive auto attacks are nuts. Um, I would argue CERN is one of the best hunters in this game mode. I think that he is slept on there's a lot of gms that are banning sir like i'm pretty sure the last time i placed i faced hawken he like left open ho yi and on her to ban cern and for good reason his early game his his passive just means that his, he is clear as nuts and of course like you know griffin wing is incredible and he's got a lot of self peel for these top tier characters so i think cern is kind of cracked at the moment um chalk i'm gonna put chalk in a you can build him auto attack you can build him damage he has a good escape his all-in potential is kind of rough, but he has good matchups into mages. He gets shit on by hunters, but with the buff to his three, maybe that gives him some edge. Again, I have not played Shock in a minute, but with Horrific Emblem and his three, maybe he can give hunters a run for their money. I'm not too sure. Uh, Changa, I'm going to put her... Nah, she can't be A. I'm going to put Changa B. She is fine against mages anything again with like upgraded deathbringer or toxic blade makes her life miserable she only can all in really her stalled out fights are not the greatest um her healing is not a big deal anymore it got nerfed sure she got more damage but still it's like her all in is not the best i you know agni's got confirmable cc without an ult baron's got confirmable cc without an ult how kwang and anubis just have crazy all in where if you use one ability incorrectly they just delete you Chang'a has to, you know, cycle her abilities a bit, which is kind of an issue. Um, Cherno, certainly better than the Hunters here, just because he's got better wave clear and his ult is actually kind of useful. Apollo's A+. Yeah, but... Uh, I may be dumb. I may be dumb. Cherno might be better than I think. Cherno might be better than I think, but I'm going to put him A. His early clear is not the best. What, what's good about Apollo is that he kind of shits on some of these melee-ers, like, like Baka and Al Kwong and like Ama. The characters that have to get close, he can mez and go away. Cherno does not have that level of self-peel, so I think he's a little bit worse in that regard, but he's still fine. He's a hunter. Um, just use your old uh, yada yada. Chiron, straight to A+, plus for me. Um, one of my favorite ability-based hunters in the game, for sure. I think that yeah he might, he might be one of the best ability based hunters to be honest there's not many that like rival him besides like you know prime uler and medusa but he's really fun he's got good early pressure he's got decent sustain in kit which means he can stick around and try and get early buffs and as long as you're good with those ults you can punish people that dive you so uh, yeah chiron's a fun time chronos of course is always going to be broken garbage in duel um his early game's not the best but he can stall you have to kill him twice with poly he can just backdoor you and he never really has to, to fight you unless he wants to um super annoying character if you let him get to like three or four items it's just gg of course you can snowball on him that's the case with anyone in duel 
but I think Kronos in particular is pretty good at at stalling. And yeah, with the dual orb, he can backdoor you so easily. It's uh, I ne never give him the chance. I always ban him. I haven't played him. Don't want to. Cthulhu, I have to imagine is C tier. <laughs> um, his ult just makes him a bigger target to like let you kill him. He has less all in than Bacchus, less all in than Athena. Pretty similar all in to these two characters, but yeah, it, it's just I think his ult honestly makes him worse in duel in most matchups. Just because he's a bigger target that you can just try and run down. If you get ahead, there's possibility. I think he can beat some mages. Um and like warriors without clear. But late, late game. Heartseeker Kins, Soul Reaver, just get way too much value on him. Kakolin. Uh, I think he can go to A tier as well. His clear is fine. His early game is fine. Late game, of course, you kind of have to build some auto attack. Uh, the Kakolin movie that I made was one of the most stressful movies I've ever made. Um, definitely a sleeper god that it can that can be useful. It's just super annoying in my opinion. I I, I wish he was better, but A tier is pretty respectable given what we've seen so far. Um, Cupid, honestly, haven't seen him in a while. No one's playing Cupid. But he can't be bad. Like in a Griffin Wing meta, he can't be that bad. Like, of course, he's not S plus or like S tier. But any hunter with this much kill potential and CC and sustain is going to be okay, in my opinion. So I, I think Cupid sits right up here with all those hunters that have that kind of kill potential. Daji, very bad, in my opinion. Oh, man, I hate Daji so much. She's good at all in. But her early damage sucks. Daji was made, her kit was designed to clear three minions. It was it was designed to clear buff camps. You have to use your full kit to clear the wave as Daji. And that becomes a bit of an issue. <laughs> um, so yeah, I am not a big fan uh, of Daji. Without starter items, she can't clear. Not quite this bad, but you know, not quite that good either. Donza, A+, guaranteed, probably close to S. If his, body, if his ult wasn't so easy body blocked, I'd probably put him S. Um, he's got decent early game. He's got great chase down. He's got good CC. If he focuses out like ult into the sake, pretty easy to just confirm that. His only issue is it takes a bit for him to get online. But most of these hunters that are good, Sarin has kill potential at level three. Honor's got kill potential at level three. AMC's got kill potential at level three. Donza takes a bit. That's the only reason he hasn't quite jumped up uh, in that regard. Disco. B tier. Um, she's got decent cooldown. Her survivability is pretty bad. I would definitely not put her C tier, but you know, there's just better mages. Agni is like the quintessential balanced mage in duel, in my opinion. Uh, I gotta stop saying that. I hate saying in my opinion. It's my fucking two list. Of course it's my opinion. But you get what I'm saying. Uh, pretty solid. Uh, Erlong is gonna go to A. Used to be top dog. Mana Conceptor being gone. Hurt him real bad. His all-in is not as good. He gets CC chain too easily. These hunters that have like, you know, CC and can just say, hey, I'm forcing you into beads. A nightmare for Erlong. And because he doesn't have that early game kill potential, he kind of falls off because his late game's not that great either. Uh, sponsored, G-Sup's in the chat for it in the link in the description. Check him out for all your energy needs. Use code Trelly. Okay, Fafnir. Um... I would love to put Fafnir in A. But his clear is worse than Kabrakens. It's pretty similar to that of like Serb. Yeah, Fafnir is definitely closer to A than the other Guardians. Where the hell did he go? He's definitely closer to A than the other Guardians, but he's not quite at that limit. If his if, you, if the hammer gets body blocked, he has no clear. His only kill potential is off the dragon, which, which is sick. If you can force dragon fights, that's dope. But most good players aren't going to let that happen. So we got to move on. Fenrir, straight to A+. Not quite S. I think that there's a lot of matchups that are miserable for Fenrir. People that can cancel Brutalize, that's a bit of a problem. You can still build auto attack, but that usually means you're going to get rolled in the early. And if you get, do get rolled in the early, it's hard to get back online. I think Fenrir is one of those gods that has a rare progression where his early game's pretty bad. And then his like mid game's pretty solid, and then he like falls off for a bit, and then his late late game is also pretty sick. If he's able to like land a jump stun, auto attack into a three, even if you cancel it, he has kill potential. But you know, there's some gods that just do that a little bit better. Um, Freya, <laughs> I have not seen Freya played in such a long time, but in a one v one, 
she can't be below A, right? Like, uh, I gotta be honest with you guys. Again, I have not seen Freya played. But she's gotta be decent. Yeah, I, I imagine her 1v1 is still solid. I don't see a reason to put her under A+, plus without the, without the testing of, like, seeing. I'm thinking get hasten get kills you know like that's probably the call again zero proof i have not played her someone did ask me for litter lame to do a full damage freya build haven't gotten around to it but we'll see like zero attacks speed full burst so maybe we'll test it good nuts one of the worst gods in the game he has one clear ability really uh, his cooldowns are terrible one of my least favorite god requests to do because of how bad his clear is um gab just a little bit better would love for him to be a Bumba's hammer made Geb a threat without it. Pretty difficult to make him work. I do love me some Geb, but you know, again, Kabrakin is just that much better because of his clear. Uh, Guan Yu, I imagine it's probably a, again, this is another character that I haven't played much of, but his cooldowns are really strong. If you get transcendence online, he's got decent all in his abilities work very well. He's just not going to be able to trade with some of these auto attackers, but snowball is always a possibility. Um, Hachi's got to go up to S tier. If you think I'm crazy, you probably haven't seen him with his new buffs. Uh, it used to be that he was like decent, but now because of the way his passive works, his passive was, hey, auto attack, get MP5. You get mana back. Now it's auto attack, get MP5 and attack speed, <laughs> which becomes a bit of an issue. Um, his one and two also got buffed. So take that all into consideration and then just watch him early game. It's like the more he autos you, the more you just get destroyed. Um, Hachi's the truth. I think that CERN definitely still out pressures him early. Like the, these other hunters are still very strong, but try being a melee character into Hachi. It's not a good time. Um, Hades goes up to S for me. One of the easiest gods in the game, in my opinion. I never ban him, but... Like I said, some of the gods that I ban in duel are not the best S tier GG, but they're the ones that I think are Gugu Gaga, a bronze player could beat me given the right situation, and Hades is one of those characters. You just like walk up, one shot the wave, the CC's annoying. Once you get to like late, late game, poly shot with the silence is like unfuck Um, I think Hades is just super easy. Hebo. Um, honestly. No one plays Hebo, so I don't think I can put him S. But, like, he's probably still S. Honestly. I have not played him. No one's played him. No one bans him. But I could truthfully see him still being S tier with his cooldowns. Uh, without starter items, he runs out of mana, which means he can't pressure three buffs, which means he doesn't get that easy level five, just GG. And because of that, I think there are some scalers you know like i think fenrir and kamazots have a decent matchup into him but i think he still diffs poseidon for example like there's a lot of mages that can't step up to him at all i can't see a reason to like you know it's just rough again start no starter items did hurt the the mages that don't have insta clear anubis has insta clear you know he's just gonna stop the wave he wasn't quite have that in my opinion book build being trash hurt him a bit the last patch is still strong yeah that's kind of where i'm at as well um heim Definitely a sleeper pick. Uh, he's not quite. Yeah, he, no, I think he's. I think he's a plus. I think that Heim is still a sleeper pick. The good Heim players make you work, man. It is super annoying, especially if you're relying on knockups. I play a lot of tier, for example, and his two just gets infinite value. He can ult you away. Late game, his ult is just an execute if he plays it right. Doesn't have that good of early pressure, but with Griffin Wing and like teleporting away and stalling and insane vision. I think Haim is one of the, the most sleeper of all sleeper picks, in my opinion. So definitely check out Haim if you're interested. Um, regrowth Hell. This may be this may be a hot take. I don't think she's this good. I've seen a lot of people try her out once Regrowth came through. I don't think she's like here. That's pretty much the end of my hot take. Uh, she runs out of mana. Again, the, the book build being gone kind of hurts a lot of these mages. She's still fine, and against a lot of, like, melee characters where she can just zoom away, she feels nice, but, like, there's a lot of people that just run her down. Like, hastened assassins can still just W key. You build a Toxic Blade or a Crit Deathbringer, her healing doesn't matter. She's still fine. Like, she's got good wave clear, but I don't think she's, like, up here. Hera. Man, Hera used to be the truth, didn't she? With Bumba's Hammer, she was, like, GG, no re. Now... 
I mean, she can still snowball. She's probably better than a lot of these mages. I would definitely take her over a Pwash, a Disco, or a Chunga. Yeah, I, I think I agree with that. She definitely gets ran down. But if you can get late, late game, Argus... If you play Argus right, she still has some viability. It's just rough, man. It's just rough. The Bumbus Hammer Hera build has really fallen off. I still think that she's pretty strong. So we're going to leave her here. Herc, my boy. Um, no, probably A+. plus. Probably A+. plus. Herc is still close, though. Herc is close to S, isn't he? If you've played a Herc recently, you know what I'm talking about. Man, this guy... This guy is the truth. He does a lot of damage. Early game, like level 3, he's ready to kill. He has pretty shitty mana, but after you get like a Golden Blade or like a little bit of MP5, Herc is scary. Um, you can go build, you can go full build, like ability base, you can go auto attack. He's pretty nuts. Um, not quite as, but he's close. Honestly, I think he might be better than Bologna in a lot of matchups. It's just Bologna gets so much value against auto attackers. Like, I really think that Bologna could go down to A+. A lot of these S tier gods could be A+, and a few of these A+, could go up. You gotta understand, I have not played all 130 whatever gods there are in Duel. This is what I'm guessing. Um, so, take that with a grain of salt. Horus, um, honestly, <laughs> is not bad. With Golden Blade, he's got decent clear. His all-in's not great, though. Can I really put him A? I don't think so. Surely he's B, right? Surely he's B. I think so. Uh, it's close, though. Honestly, it's very close. I'll put him towards the higher end of B, but, you know, I, I don't know. I, I don't know about that one. We'll, we'll, we'll see as the list goes through. Uh, Hoi, definitely S tier. One of the best gods in the mode and will continue to be. He's got buff confirm at level 3. He has a passive that just makes sure... That if he goes up against an ADC, he can go crit and you can't. Um, his 2 also just gets so much value against some of these tankier characters. Any good Ho Yi player is going to be able to win, I would argue, 90% of matchups. There's very few gods where I'm like, oh no, they picked that. I can't pick Ho Yi. And uh, because of that, uh, he goes S. Hunbats. His early game is bad. I want to put him here. Because I actually really like Hunbats. And I think I will. The no You know what? The, the knock-up immunity on his 2 went far. And because of that, I will put him A. His early clear is his only issue. Um, so yeah. I think I'm going to keep it. I think I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep I'm gonna keep bots A. Starter items helped him out a lot. Bluestone bots, way better. Like, like having early pressure is nice. It's pretty, it, it's pretty hard for him to get buff control though. Because of how bad his clear is. So just keep that in mind. Um, e set. She's probably still fine. She's definitely better than like Disco and Baba. She's got kill potential over them. Her ult is just really bad. There's some matchups where her ult can get value. I don't think that she's like Agni good. Cause like, don't get me wrong. I think Eset versus other mages is sick. Eset over like anyone that doesn't have to get close to her is kind of an issue, but she is better than a lot of these mages. I could be wrong about Chang'a. I keep looking at Chang'a thinking that she should be higher. You know what? I'm going to move Chang'a to A. Again, this is why I say, listen to me. Don't look at the num Don't look at the pictures. Listen to what I'm saying. It's more important. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll put her A. Um, Iza, still extremely strong. Um, her issue is she dies, but if she just plays cringe, like there, there's ways to play Iza where you don't have to fight ever. And because of that, she can become a bit of an issue. The hunters that can track her and just beat her, uh, you know, AMC on her, Sir and Hashi, Hoi, they just differ. Like, you're going to lose that 1v1 more often than not. But if you're someone that wants to win early, Iza can force you to not do that. You know, if you pick like a melee character, like again, I think Kamazots can find her pretty easily. But if you're like, hey man, I really like playing, you know, Achilles. She's going to clear the wave, run away, clear buff, run away, meet you at level 20 when she out damages you, and that's the end of it. So I think she's pretty cringe. Keep that in mind. We're going to zoom out a bit. I mean, yeah. We're going to zoom out just a bit and keep going here. Uh, but just keep that in mind. She doesn't have to fight you, and I think that's one of her strengths. But not quite like this good, because I think a lot of these characters differ. Um, Janice. Oh, boy. I love Janice. You guys know me. I love Janice. Still not good. His all-in is not great. Um, his fire giant plays are not great you can be super cringe with him 
but he lacks a lot of this confirmable CC that makes these ages jump to A. Uh, relying on portal is not the best. Jingwei, um, definitely better than Artemis, I would argue. Maybe not though. Artemis has all in, I seriously think Artemis is the worst hunter in the game. So keep that in mind because our clear is really bad, but it's not like that bad. Uh, Artemis' ult does get profuse value in duel, but yeah, Jingwei is still a hunter. I'm really baffled here. This is hurting my brain trying to figure it out like where these like low tier hunters go. Because you gotta think, late game, if given the right scenario, Artemis can beat like a Hades, Artemis can beat like, you know, some of these characters, but it's hard to get to that point because of the clear. And Artemis and Jingwei, in my opinion, are very similar. They have bad early clear, but Artemis gets that like late game online. So yeah, Jingwei can't be better than Artemis. All right, I lied. Moving on, Yorm. Um, I played some Yorm. I win a lot with Yorm. Doesn't mean he's good though. Decent clear, loses to all auto attackers. It's just like a walking death pit for, um, what's it called? Oh, you're right. Where was Charybdis? We definitely missed Charybdis. Okay, I'm going to scroll just to make sure. Ishtar, Marty, Surtur. Charybdis is way down here. Okay, Atlas, Charybdis got added later. I'll take Charybdis then. Um, Charybdis is very bad. I'm going to put her V tier as well. <laughs> Thank you for catching that. Some of these characters are um, out of order. Her ult is like impossible to hit in a 1v1 setting. Her clear is not the best. Um, you know, she's still a hunter though, so fine. Let's just grab um, Atlas as well because we've skipped him. Atlas is probably still B tier. I love Atlas. You know what? Is he better than Bacchus? Again, with Bumba's Athena would probably be better, but without it, Atlas can clear his ult, kind of likes him have all in with Sunder. He's fine. And he can pull you under tower, so that kind of is nice. He can't be A though. Yeah, he can't be A. I got to keep him B tier. But still, I like Atlas a lot. And Arachne, I think Arachne is so bad. Her clear is awful. Like even with Golden Blade, I think she just gets diffed. Her early game is shit, but you're right. You're right. That was a stretch. Um, and then we'll grab Kleena as well. Kalina, probably just A. I think her late game is pretty decent, but her early is pretty rough. Um, she can hide in walls and make your life miserable, but her all in isn't the best. Um, I'm convincing myself she might be B tier because the way that the way that I uh, I'm gauging these assassins is how much how well they can force you to fight. Because as far as I'm concerned, if you're not an auto attack assassin like a Bakasura, or if you don't have tremendous disengage like Bastet. To be good in this game mode, you have to be able to force people to fight. Fenrir can say, hey, I, I landed a stun. I picked you up. You have to fight me. Um, Arachne, it's pretty difficult for that. You know what I mean? You have to you have to be able to dodge CC. You have to be able to all in when you know you can. Hunbat has an ultimate that can force that. But Kalina really doesn't have that. She's got lots of poke, but she can't force you to engage. I guess dodge she can, but her early clear is so bad. I'm not even willing to give her A. So because of that, I'm going to keep her B. She's still fine, but just not that like AT character. Um, Kali, huh? It, it's hard for me to put her S because our early clear is so bad. I never ban Kali personally, and I, I, I beat her 90% of the times I go against her. All it takes is one kill though, and I think that's the big issue. If you give Kali an inch, she will take a mile, but it is hard to give her an inch. That's what she said. Um, it is hard to give her an inch because her early clear is so bad and you kind of have to be playing Kali perfectly. She's still super good. But again, if you if she never gets that kill, then she'll just never get online. So not quite SS tier in my opinion. Her, her like like Baka has early clear. That's, that's insanely safe. <sighs> this is hard. This is difficult because if you just stall, Kali does just win. But I've snowball, I've snowball on so many Kali's. I'm gonna keep her S. I'm gonna keep her A plus from my experience. Um, Kepri, unfortunate, goes to C. I love Kepri. He's a common request in my stream, but uh, you know, does not have enough damage in this case. Party, it's not a smasher pass. King Arthur, probably pretty close to A, but. 
I don't know, man. This is a tough one for me because I've seen some some nasty King Arthur plays, but he's just his early is pretty bad. Without starter items, his he, he can't really confirm buffs. Once he gets salt online, he has all in potential, but it's not my favorite. Yeah, I'm gonna leave him here. I'd rather play Kakolin. I'd rather play Guan. I'd rather play Chalk. Nick Druid, thank you for gifting Sam Marbach the sub. I appreciate it. I might rather play. I honestly might rather play King Arthur over Erlon, though. I may be wrong about this. I might honestly be wrong about this. But thank you, you again. Black. I appreciate it. Cuckoo. Um, unfortunately, goes to B tier for me. I love me some Cuckoo, but book build fell off. His early game's pretty bad. Hard to confirm ults in duel when you know it's coming. He's close to A, but he's just not quite there. It takes too long to get online. And again, in a game mode like this where pressure is everything, these characters can force you to not play safe. Like Cuckoo excels when he's underneath tower and gets late game. When you try to do that against these characters, they're just going to force you to fight. Um, Kumba does not have the clear to back up a B placement, in my opinion. I love Kumba myself. Um, is he... Is he B? He definitely has better clear than Gnuts. And he's got stall. He's got, like, at attack speed stims. Like, anti-attack speed. Alright, I'll give him B. You've convinced me. I'll give him B, but no higher. I would rather play Kumba than these four. And so there you go. Um, the bow. Straight to A, baby. Love this guy. Definitely a top three guardian in duel. The no starter items certainly hurt him. When I was playing Bumba's Kumba's and Bow, bro, I'd put him in A, honestly. I'd put him A+. Plus. Give me the bow every game. But because Bumba's is gone, you got to play a bit safer to get late game. But if you do, whew, it's nice. Loki. Okay, so remember when I was talking about how good assassins force you to fight? Loki can do that. Um, his early game is still but bad, like terrible. But he's he. I would say Loki is very similar to Kali. And if you give him that one kill, he can run the game away. But it's hard to get that one kill because anyone playing with hands knows where you are when you're, when you're invis and knows when you can all in. Like right after you get transcendence, defense item, third item, Loki can win. But it's hard to get there from an even standpoint. Does that mean he's like Kali level? No, I don't think so. I think I'm going to put him A. Uh, but he's pretty close to A+. Plus, I, in my opinion. I could be wrong about this, but let's move on. Uh, Medusa, certainly still A+. Plus. Not as good as she once was, but yeah, she's still fine. Insane kill potential. Works with crit, works with ability base, works with attack speed. Her early game is pretty solid. Just watch out for getting your dash caught. Merc, I'm going to give him A+. Plus. If you're running away and just trying to backdoor um, against any god that's good, you can get that pretty shut down. Like, if, you have, if, you're, if you're against these characters that actually have pressure and can do fire and can outburst you and can have kill potential, Merc can't really do that. But when Merc looks really good is when you're, like, doing god requests and you're playing, like, oh, I'm playing friggin Bacchus today and Merc just runs away from you and gets the late game and just backdoors you that's where he looks like really solid so um you know not the best Merlin uh Merlin so the, the issue with Merlin has always been that his early game is poop and his late game is good to great but in a meta where there's dual orbs and you dying once means you've essentially lost the game. It's hard to really bet on Merlin. Like Chonga is better for sure. Agni is way better. Hell is way better. Yeah, I feel pretty good about putting Merlin in B. I like Merlin. He's fun, but I don't think he can make that jump. Uh, Mulan is another character that I've not seen at all. It takes a while to upgrade her abilities. Her all in attempt potential is pretty rough. Unless you're snowballing. With that being said. Is she better than like Horus? Yeah. King Arthur. Probably. Bologna A and S. Yeah, I said she could be A+. Plus. I don't know, man. I, th I think she's probably B. I think, I, I think we'll have to put. I think we'll have to put Mulan B. But maybe she's A. Who knows? 
Um, Neath, as far as I'm concerned, is definitely better than the hunters that I have here, which is just Cherno, right? Yeah. I mean, she insta clears level three. She's got stall potential. She can just build normal. Yeah, I, I think that Neath is still probably pretty comfortable A+. Plus. All you need as a hunter is like decent clear and like burst that can confirm buffs and then just stall till late game, which is something that Neath can do. So that's like my, my tier for A+. Plus. All right, Nem. Okay, this is another one that I really liked playing. If you face someone that doesn't have a way to break your shield, Nem can go crazy. But her early clear is pretty buns. And if you face someone that can break her shield, she kind of gets like zero value until late, late game. So am I describing an A tier god or a B tier god is my question. Um, I'd say probably A. He's pretty close to B though. She's not the best. I don't know. We'll, we'll leave her here, but just know that it's close. Um, she can kind of force you to fight her, but she doesn't clear the wave. Who breaks shields? Anything with CC. So, in this case, pretty much everyone in this tier can break her shield. Um, yes, 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 no, but Kama doesn't really need to hit it. Um, actually, yes. Yes, but it's hard. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, but it's hard. <laughs> you better be hitting the freaking stunner. Uh, and then, so yeah, it, it, it's it's doable. But my point is, even if you don't break the shield, there's ways around it. You can get Sprout, you can get uh, Knock Up Med, you can not fight during the shield. So yeah, I think probably pretty close, but her clear is just really bad. Um, Naja, I think Naja is super slept on. Naja is really sick. If you're able to, again, this is not, this is not, Oh, if you can, if they, if they're bad at beads, then Naja's good. I think even if they have beads, Naja's pretty solid. You just have to get crit, and then even if you don't get crit, you can just build full red items and still get lucky with crit. So it puts people in a position where they want to build what's it called? They want to build spectral, and if they build spectral, you just go full pen and destroy them late game. And if they don't build spectral, you get crit and you win for free. I think Naja is really strong right now and pretty slept on. Um, Nike. Uh, B, like Sunder fucks her, her clear gets interrupted. Not my favorite. There's ways to play her, but you know. Yeah, this is probably where Nike belongs. Nox, not quite C, I'll give her B. Um, if you're hitting everything, she's pretty fun. With Bumba's hammer, I would put her A. I loved Nox in Duel with Bumba's hammer. Without it, her cooldowns are just too long. And I think that's a bit of an issue for her. Uh, moving on, Nuwa. Nuwa's pretty fun. I like Nuwa, I'm gonna put her A. Um, her minions can get one shot by some of these burst mages like Hebo and Kronos, and that becomes a bit of an issue. But if you get big cooldown, um, Nuwa is definitely still playable. One of my favorite sleeper mages, um, A tier is, is still playable. So yeah, just fine. Um, Odin is very similar to Nike, but a bit better. Um... Yeah, I, I think still B. I think still B is fine, but, you know, not quite making that jump. Oleron. I hate this god. Oh my god. If I could never play against Oleron again, it would be too soon. Does still have an issue with his early games, not the, the best. With Mannequin Scepter, easy S tier. Without it, I'm debating. I think I'm still going to put him S. Because I, yeah, I, I think I still have to put him S, but oh, I hate him so much. If I could never face Oleron again, it'd be too soon. Hate this guy. Just like, hate him. Um, we're still not getting cut off, so we're good. Osiris. Man, Osiris used to be so good. Osiris used to be really good. Um, in Conquest, he's garbage. In Duel, he has a lot of CC. He can, he can force you to fight. His clear is not fantastic, but it's doable. I do think he's better than most of these uh, most of these warriors here. So yeah, I'm gonna put him A. Pele definitely slept on at the moment. Still very strong. Not quite S tier. There's matchups that she just can't play into. Like I think tier hard counters her, for example. I think there's no reason why a Heimdall should lose that. Anyone with knockout immunity does not care about Pele. Um, but still, is very strong in the right hands. If you're able to force that dash, blink in, old, pretty lit. Her all good. 
Uh, yeah, fine. Persephone is actually kind of slept on as well. Her early clear is bad, yes. Um, when I say slept on, I mean it is possible from to jump from B to A. And like, she's got all in, so if you ult into like a Sunder, into like a death, it's fine. But she doesn't have as much confirmable CC as Agni or like Nuwa. She's like B+. Plus. Think about it that way. Um, she's close. Poseidon, this might be one of the more hot takes. Like, Rexky's probably going to be mad at me for this. He already said Bologna should be down. Um, but I think Poseidon is not S tier. With Bumba's Hammer, he was. But there's no, like... I just think he's so easy to kill. You know what I'm saying? Like, am I am I wrong about this? Poseidon just dies. Like, I'll bring Bologna down, but I want to bring Poseidon down as well. Like, it just seems to me, like, whenever I play Poseidon, like, whenever I face him, I just Aegis one crack and sprint the other one and fucking kill him. I don't know. Like, I may be wrong. This is my Tios. It's not Rexy's. I'll bring the Bologna down, but I'm bringing the Poseidon down as well. Fuck you, nerd. Rexy's here, by the way, and he's just bitching at me every time I make something different. I brought the Bologna down, but I also brought Poseidon down. I don't care. Like, I get that his two is why he's broken. It's not the Kraken. But he has to get there. Like, how does he get there against so many of these other characters? <sighs> Fine. I'll leave him there. Fucking loser. Rexy didn't even say anything. I'll just put him there. Just know that I think he's A+, plus, okay? Um, Ryzen... Definitely not A tier. He, he can't really force you to fight. His all in's not great. His dash gets canceled. His one gets canceled. He's about to, he, he's close to C, but he's not. He's not. He's a uh, you know he's B tier. Rama, I actually like a lot. I think he's got kill potential. His early clear is fine. Rexy's mere presence carries that much weight. No, I mean I, I just you know I've faced Poseidon's where it's just like holy shit I hate my life. This game is over. But I've also faced them more often than not. I would say 80% of the time. Where like I like like I think I think a Wheelix like just shits on Poseidon, for example. Because anyone that gets close to him before late game just fucking deletes him. You know what I mean? Like there is a world where he just runs away forever. But you gotta play bad early to let him get there. But whatever. It's fine. It's whatever. Um What did I just say? Rama. Yeah. Kill potential level five. He's a hunter. Doesn't have that CC we were talking about. That's the reason he's not A+, but still fun. Um, Ra. Unfortunately, B. I love Ra, but the ult is just so useless in most situations. And it's very difficult to confirm Ra's ult. Um, when people see it coming, you know? They just look at you and just like... It's like Ymir, where they just stay away. From a distance, it can get a bit easier. You have to predict them. But, you know... The, the mages that are here have confirmable damage. Raw 1 is hard to hit unless you 2-1 and walk up. You, know, you get it. You get it. Rat. Oh, his, his, his early clear is so bad. I hate Rat. I get requested to play Rat all the time. He's just so bad, man. His early clear is just dookie. You can't even clear the wave. You have to spam all three abilities to clear the wave. And even if you do, it takes a while. Crit Acorn's essentially useless. You only have two options. I guess you have three technically, but the heal one does not bring enough presence. So you need stun or dash. And the dash one falls off with spectral. Like if you commit to that dash acorn and they get spectral, the game's just over. So I don't know. I hate rat. I think he just Assassins are known for their early pressure in duel. The ones that can clear that are good. And Rat has so little of it. Um Robin, definitely A, not quite A plus. Um, does have a little bit of a early pressure. Has some great matchups. Like, I think he dicks on Poseidon, for example. He's got a decent time into Kronos as well. Anyway, like, if you get value out of your two, you can play Robin. But his clear is not that sick. So it takes some time to get there. Scylla, easy A plus for me. I think Scylla is always slept on. I love playing Scylla, one of my favorite. Probably one of my best dual gods, honestly. Um, you gotta hit everything. But if you're able to hit your, your poly shots consistently and, and get Aegis's down... And have some mind games where you put the crush down, bait out an Aegis, and then pop it. Those are the sort of things you have to be doing. And you just have to not get first blooded. If you get first blooded on Scylla, your game is over. Straight up. But if you don't, you know, you get late game and you have a good time. So Scylla's fun. Um, Sir Cat, 
Whew. With her crit, gets a little bit better. She's very similar to Naja in that you can build full red items and still have some crit chance, which makes people annoyed. But if you commit to the crit, then Spectral gets so much value. Her clear's not as bad as it used to be. And because it's a 1v1, I think her all in, like her, her 100 to 0 is crazy. It's just her clear is not the best. I think Sir Cat's pretty easy A tier, though. One of the more fun assassins in the meta at the moment. Set is still S. I don't care what anyone says. I haven't seen him in the meta. No one's banning him, but he's still gross. His poke's insane. His retreat potential's insane. His all in's insane. I think Set will always be one of the like top 10 gods in the game in any given moment. People just like get bored of playing him for like at moments. Like I, I would argue he's probably still slept on in the SPL. People just don't like playing him. Um, Scotty, yeah, S tier. I hate this character. This is another one that I ban, not because she's broken, but because she's easy. Um, there's plenty of hunters that just differ. Like all the hunters that can kill Calder and her at the same time, they're great. There's some characters like, uh, you know, when, like when I play Kabrakan, I don't even hit Calder. I just ignore Calder and go straight for Scotty. The ice is fucking annoying. Her early clear is good. Um, one of my least favorite gods to play against for sure. There's a few that I've talked about that if I could never play against them again, it'd be too soon. Scotty's one of them. Um, Sobek. Sobek is not quite C tier. That's, that's my explanation for Sobek. Um, there was a time when I thought that Sobek was real fun and he still is, but you know, you really got him. You got, you got to work for him. If you want to see a banger Sobek gameplay, it's one of my lowest win rate in the game mode videos. Um, I had such a fun time playing so bad with like Bancrofts. He's got like a Hades heal essentially if you build that way, but of course he falls off and he can't force people to fight him, which is the most annoying thing. So think about that. And there you go. No, so think of the 23 ones, look at math. Soul. Um, without Mannequin Scepter, she really fell off. She's definitely A or above. I would argue she's probably still A plus um, because she's got auto attack. She's got burst. Her early game is fine. She's got sustain. Yeah, she's got to be still A plus. I don't think that she's worse. Th I don't think she's worse than any of these mages. And yeah, she's still fine. People are sleeping on her, but yeah, she's still annoying. Wukong, I'm going to go to A. Probably B, but he's a little bit safer than Mulan. Soul feels like ST to go up against sometimes for sure. I think that she gets diffed by all the other magical ADCs though. Like Freya just beats her, Kronos just beats her, Poseidon just beats her, um, Oleron just beats her. But there are certain matchups that feel unwinnable against Soul. All right, moving on. Who did I just say? I just play someone, I know it. Wukong, yeah. He, Bluestone made him a lot better, I think. But, you know, he's fine. Can I say that he's A? Chalk's got auto attacks. Wan Yu's got his ult. Oh, I gotta leave him B, unfortunately, but I think he could be close. He could be close. Susano. Um, he is never any of these two. He's probably between here. Um, if you play him well, he can certainly be A tier, but CC fucks him. Um,. Yeah. It, it's really annoying to play Susano into characters with consistent self peel. Like, you try to be Susano and walk up to, you know, like a Baron that can just root you run away, a Kali that can stun run away. The, these things make it so difficult. Um, But yeah, in this case, I think. I'd rather play Susano than Hunbats. So, with that being said. Doesn't mean he's better. He's very close to B. He's like B plus. It's it's difficult to make him work. Um, Vonis. Unfortunately, B. If Mannequin Scepter was still in the game, he could probably be A. Probably. But just doesn't do enough all in. You know, he just does not have, have that extra all in potential that the mages or the guardians that are up here do. Like Kuzumbo can just fuck your day up uh, with a Gronos pendant, like that push you to the wave twice. But Vonis needs to hit like a pole and like catch you off guard. Um, Terra, she can go to B as well. Not quite C tier. She's got better clear than all these characters and has all in with Sunder and her ult. But 
it's hard to hit her CC. It's like pretty easy to avoid the, the root all in combo. So I'm not going to give you that one. Um, Thanatos. Uh, man, I don't think that he is that bad because of his snowball alone. I think he can be a, these two are pretty similar in my opinion. And people that play them are pretty similar. Like they're just a bunch of losers and have small dicks. But if you do, fuck, that's not an email. No, I see it. I've got eyes. Um, I think because his snowball is so potent early, like you can, for example, I know I use this a lot, but I think that he can just like roll through a Poseidon or like a Kronos, like these mages in particular that don't have easy self peel. If you just kill them at level three, I think Thanatos can just snowball. But if people play smart and stay back and don't give you it, it can be difficult. Um, so I'm going to put him a, but it can be very, it can be very annoying. The Morgan, this is what I'm going in fucking blind here. I have not played her. I have not faced her. I I know so little about the Morgan duel. Um, I got nothing for you. Is, is, she's probably fine. I mean, like, if you're a, if you're a Morgan main, you could be cool, I guess. What is snowballing? So snowball is an analogy because how a snowball works is it starts at the top of a mountain and then it goes down and it gets bigger and it gets bigger and it gets bigger. In this case. You get one kill, which lets you invade a buff, which lets you push a wave under, which means that you get the next buff. And then you, you you keep you keep building your lead off of a small thing. And I think that Thanatos, because he's so good at killing these characters with a bad clear that are like immobile, he can snowball. He can get a kill, which means he gets red, which means he gets level five first, which means he gets another kill. Those are the things. Uh, yeah, I have zero idea about the Morgan. Take this with a grain of salt. She could be the best guy in the game mode. I have no fucking clue. Uh, whatever. Thor, um, definitely A for me, not quite A+, plus, not quite B, very similar to these characters. Snowball is great in certain matchups, he's fantastic. There's some matchups where he's unplayable. Um, if you get a good matchup where they don't have CC immunity, like I love a Thor into like a Poseidon or like a, an Oleron. If you can just keep your distance, stun, poke, stun, poke, and only go in with your ult. If you miss your ult, Leave. I'm telling you, you're going to regret it. Leave. But if you hit your ult, yeah, all in. Um, it's a great time. CERN, another one. Some of these top tiers that don't have CC immunity in their ults, it's a great time. If you have ever played Thor into like Heimdall, though, where he's just like, hey, you've been close to me. I've ulted you away. Now I'm leaving. And then he comes back and his trades autos. It's kind of difficult. It, it can be super annoying. So I'm the biggest fan of Thor. I'm trying to get a purple border on him. But it, you, you got to play it just right. And... Any, any like hunter with CC immunity just diffs you. Um, Thoth is uh, as bad as you can be without being C tier. I, I think Thoth is so trash. One of my favorite gods in the game. But the issue with Thoth is you can never get fucking fire giant. You can never do it. No matter how you build him, you're never getting FG. So you have to force people to fight you. And you know, you can get tower down pretty easily, but Phoenix is the real hurdle. Getting Phoenix down to stop is almost impossible. And I play him a fair bit. It's just like, you're going to lose so many matchups as Thoth where you're up 7-0 and you just can never end. And that's an issue. Even like, because he has no easy way to use Polly either. You can get it, but it's like, I don't know. It, it, it's hard to make Thoth work because of how his kit's designed. Tier, I'm going to put tier A+. I think tier is great. The buffs to tier, fuck now. The fact that he's, he can either just do bit like because in conquest you usually build tier as a solo laner with like maybe one damage item in duel you have maybe one defense item which means the 20 percent buff to his ult actually goes hard and then the stun means you can pull beads off his ult and you just get blink tier can full clear the wave at level three his blue stance out confirms most people for buffs it can knock up baka if he's trying to eat there's a lot of tech that you can be done with tier um, one of my go-tos. Like, Tyr, Alquang, and Thor are my three most played dual gods. And, you know, they're they're vastly different in skill level, but there's, like, outplay potential for all of them for, like, these top tier matchups. But I would not want to play any of them into Bastet. Like, I, I, I need you to understand how much I fucking despise this god. Bastet is so annoying. Anyways, moving on. Uller. What a fall from grace this character has had. Um, without Bluestone, definitely fell off, but... In my mind, Transcendence, Defense Item, Crusher, Brawlers, Hydras. After that, Ur is back to being 
on top. Like, like I, I think he wins most matchups from that point on. The issue is if you fall too far behind before then. Um, he's definitely bottom of S tier, not undisputed best god in the game mode anymore. But he's still in S, I think. I could be wrong about that, but I I'm going to put him there. Vamana, definitely just S. Um, needed the nerfs. I'll ha it'll take time to see if the nerfs were enough. So he did get nerfed hard. He could be a lot worse than I think. But at the moment, I think that he is still extremely strong. Um, and he doesn't have to fight you. Again, he can get like Emp Armor and just build to kill your towers. If you're trying to like sit back to late game, it just doesn't matter. How do you clear his Alquang? Uh, now that Bancroft is back in, you just, you know, walk up, hit the person that you're trying to fight. The wave will group upon you. You 3-1, get the fuck out of there. And then if they jump on you, you turn it on with your 2. It's disgusting. Alquang's 1v1 is nuts. He can build Shield of Regrowth, which used to be a health item. Now is a physical defense item. So all of these physical characters, are it's impossible to catch him. And he will run you down. And uh, late game... He has, he has one of the best late games in the game, bar none, uh, 1v1 wise, so yeah. Opinion on the incoming changes. I have played a few of them, um, and it's exciting stuff. The game needed to be sped up, in my opinion, so that's hype. Vulcan. Honestly, haven't played Vulcan in a minute. I imagine he... Wait, what just happened? Did someone just get kicked out or no? I don't think so. Uh, I imagine Vulcan's still A+. I have not played him in a while. He's got to be still pretty sick, though. Like, not quite as good as the auto attackers, like Kronos, Alquang, uh, Poseidon, Oleron. But still has great clear. His his, his, uh, his turret goes in. Yeah, I, I, I'm thinking he's still A+. I'd play him, like, pretty even with Hebo here. And I, again, I think Hebo could jump up. So, yeah. I thought the game was supposed to be slow down this patch. I don't want to spoil anything. But the teaser that was put on Twitter about the Titans is going to speed up gameplay, in my opinion. But we will see. Um, X-Ball, I'm going to put him A. He's not quite A+. Plus. I think he takes too long to get online. He doesn't have CC. But he's definitely better. Is he? Hmm. Yo, Samus, man. Thank you for the sub, bro. I think Artemis is better than X-Ball. Did I put Artemis too low? Chat, you can be honest with me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to defer to chat here. Did I put Artemis too low by putting her B? I think she's wor the worst hunter in the game currently because of how bad her clear is. But when she faces other hunters, it doesn't matter as much. Yes, Artemis is too low. All right. I'll put Artemis A so we can put X-Ball A. Jingwei um, in duel, definitely worse. We can all agree on that. Charybdis, definitely worse. Alma too high? I don't think so. Uh, moving on, Jing Chen. B. Um, he's got decent clear. He actually... He might be A. Is he A? He's safer than the other Guardians. He's got decent matchup and auto attackers. But you know what? Losing Conduit Gem and Bumbas and all of those things might have hurt him. I don't think he's A. Like, yeah. Kuzumbo, Kabrakin. I think they're A. I love them. Ching Chen's probably like top of B tier with Fafnir and like Bacchus. Yeah, this this makes sense to me. I'm putting these guardians here just so I can see them. This makes sense to me. This makes sense in my head. I get that you guys might be disagreeing about the Arachne, but I I think I think Arachne's just buns, man. All right, Yemoja. Maybe B. I mean, yeah, I'll give her B. She's better than these, but I hate Yamoja in duel. I just recently played her for a worst win rate in duel video. You gotta be facing someone that can't get out of your ult. And because of that, yeah, I'm putting her C. Fuck no, she goes C. Okay. Ymir, um, probably top of B tier, maybe low A. I just, in my opinion, these fast characters that can just run around Ymir in circles just dick on him. Like, I know... Everyone's going to be like, oh, Iranian's going to be mad. Uh, Ymir's so low. But you know how many people that can actually play Ymir at that level? And even people that can play Ymir at that level. They're not beating these characters more often than not. You know, like Ymir, 
you ha if, if you fuck up one freeze, Ymir can just lose. Like, straight up. If you fuck up one. And you don't even have to fuck it up. It goes into the outplay of the other person. If the other person just walks around your, um, your three, you're just screwed. So, the highest I can give Ymir is A. Honestly, he's probably B. But I'll give him A. Zeus. Man, Zeus just dies. I, I, I think Zeus is decent. His clear is fine. But he does just die. I think he's got to be B because of that. He's got like... He has nothing that forces you to fight him. And because of that, people can just run away from him, not group up, not get close to his shield, and just like snowball. There are some good matchups. Like I think like, you know, characters like Anubis and, and Poseidon that have to... That have no sort of way of juking the shield. Like if you throw the shield out and they're next to it, you can just say, okay, we're fighting. I'm all inning you. But characters that can just jump away and then come in after, they just shit on Zeus. So, but highest I can give him is B. Man, beginning of this season, Zhang was like A+. Telkines was proccing. The new Telkines was proccing. Starter items, those were all sick. But now that they're gone, I think Zhang's probably A. He's definitely close to A+. Is he A+. You guys think he's A+. He's probably close. The auto attack Zhang was cool. He's close, but I don't think I'd give him the A+. I would rather play... No, you know what? I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. The fact that... The fact that he has the auto attacks sets him above the mages in this tier, in my opinion. So we're going to roll with that. Um, also, we missed Marty. Marty goes to S. I apologize about that. Ishtar. Um, okay, I'll sit here and explain. Marty does almost everything AMC does but better. Um, he struggles a bit with auto attack builds though. So like AMC can build like full attack speed kins and still be fine. Mario doesn't want to do that. He just wants to build full ability based, but it doesn't even hurt him that much. Like he, his, his self peel is not just his ult. The stinger works that way too. So yeah, I'm going to put Marty easy S plus. Uh, sorry about taking so long about that one. And Ishtar is going to be A plus. She has pretty good early clear her ult is nice <sighs> but yeah that's that's what i'll give her that's what i'll give her she's she's a plus i'm not gonna go into it too much she's just like another hunter with decent clear and cc sukuyomi um man with starter items this guy was s without them his early clear is kind of poo but if you let him get level 20 it's like, you probably lost. Like if you let him get late, late game and you waste an Aegis, you definitely lost. But if you didn't, it's between A and A plus, but his early clear is really bad. I mean, it's not terrible, but it can be interrupted in body block, which is a problem. I'm gonna give him A plus. I think I think it's I, I think you can get to late game easy enough to give him in the edge over some of these other characters. And he's got good self peel with just damage. He's like, hey, stay away, fuck off, stay away, and he just throws stuff in my range. All right, Gilg. Man, I haven't seen Gilg in a minute. Um, I imagine he's still A plus though. Decent clear, decent all in. Can build auto attack, can build burst. He's got CC at level three. He gets free gold just by a, a quest item. If you get a kill, you get a second quest item and then a third quest item. I mean, I think the lowest he could be is like A. Yeah, I'm gonna put him A plus. I think Gilg's in a good spot. Uh, Morgan Le Fay. Morgan Le Fay, I know a lot of people were saying Morgan Le Fay was S tier, broken garbage. And I've never seen proof of this. Like I've watched Jesse player. She seems fine. She's got decent early clear, like pretty good. Her self peel is good. Her range poke is good. I don't see her like having that. I don't see her having that all in potential. Okay, so for example, let me, in my head, like Anubis has like 100 to zero potential, Poseidon's got that 100 to zero potential. If on her jumps in, 
Alquang just turn and burns. He can pre-beat and impale and just kill you. Kronos can do the same. I don't feel like Morgan Le Fay has that same potential. Like, she's got good damage, but she doesn't have that all in, which I think you need to be here. That's how I rationalized it. And, and Hebo does have it, to be clear. I still think Hebo could be S, but you guys have convinced me otherwise. Uh, yeah, I guess because she's so good into melees, people want to put her here. I'm leaving her A+. This is my list. I'm leaving her A plus. I've I've seen zero proof for this. Like I well, like I be I, I faced Captain Twig's Rama, and uh, I uploaded it, and people were like, "You're a scumbag for playing Morgan Le Fay." That was so, that was so cringe. And I'm like, "Okay, bro. I thought I was just trying out MILF for the first time." So I get that you all have this predisposition to hate her. Um, I'll take that with a with a I'll take that into consideration. I'm gonna leave her A plus. Tiamat. Um, probably just A. She's got decent early clear late game. She can be pretty gross if you if you get her online, but it takes a while to do so. Eating buffs is still strong. Like being able to like just eat a buff is nice. But you know, still A. Yeah, I think I might have put Nem too low. I'm still I I I still hold the the ability to be able to switch this around. That's why I wanted to you know check it out. All right, I like that. Moving on, Yu Huang, very bad. Um, I've tried. I, I tried to do when Yu Huang first came out. I tried to do a duel with Yu Huang, and it took me so long to get that video. Um, his ult is pretty useless because most people just jump over it and like can run away from it. Even if you lead in with the ult, your kill potential is not the best. You don't have enough CC. His root takes so long. Yeah, I don't. Not the greatest. Um, Lance. The highest Lance can be is A, in my in my humble opinion. The highest he can be is A. He doesn't have any way to build auto attack. He has to build ability base. CC gets him off the horse, which most people have. His early clear sucks. Yeah, I've convinced myself he's B. I, I, Lance is pretty. Lance, Lance is in a rough spot. Um, Shiva, I'm also gonna put in B. And his ult is utterly useless in duel. You're better off his auto attacking late game. The heal is going to get shut down. His early clear is pretty good. That's that's kind of what you got going for you. Um, I have not played Eshel at all. I have no idea if she can be A tier, but probably just B. Because you you can't even do the gimmick with her ult in duel. You, you don't have someone to like heal off of. So you can only ult for three seconds max. Yeah, her... 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 her Kit is not made for duel, so I'm gonna leave her here. Maui, his clear is butts. Definitely goes over to C tier. Um, just you know, not built for duel. Uh, not greatest. Um, Surter, actually gonna go to, to A plus. I think his items are pretty good right now. Um, vital amplifier Surter is scary. His ult is pretty bad. That's my only issue with Surter. He basically just spawns a bunch of minions to life steal off of. <laughs> But if you use it correctly and you force a dash, they can tank for you under tower and he can die if his auto attack builds decent. Like he's pretty similar to Gilgamesh and uh, and Hercules in my opinion, just like uh, auto attack wise. Try and count how many times I said in my opinion in this video, I'd appreciate it. But that's my tier list. Um, I'm gonna see if I have any last minute differences. Um, Honestly, someone said that I should make an S plus tier. And I think that would be a decent idea. If you skip to the end to see everything, I think that some of these characters, some of these S tier gods are definitely better than others. Um, Kali probably has the ability to move up. Hebo definitely has the ability to move up. Bologna definitely has the ability to move up. Milf definitely has the ability to move up. But yeah, I think I'm just going to stick with it and create some discourse in the comments. If you agree with, disagree with anything, hey, let me know in the comment section below. And we can get into it. I'm always down for this. But you asked for it, alright? I don't play every single god so that all of this is not going to be this end-all be-all. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, definitely leave a like. Subscribe, comment if you are new. All that stuff. Check out Gamer Subs in the link in the description. But yeah, it's been Charlie, guys. Peace.